hello and welcome to another tutorial and in this video we're going to explain how you can use eq to clean up your mix and to fit all the sounds of your beat into um the entire frequency spectrum all right so in the last video we talked about compression this one now we're going to look at how we're going to fit the eq into how to eq the beat and we'll start with the kick the low end all right so I'm gonna play about the drums. So with EQ now, each sound fits into a frequency spectrum. Let me see, let me see if I can. All right. So each sound fits into a frequency spectrum. I'm playing. What you're seeing on the screen now is just the kick. So what you're seeing now is the kick. This is the entire frequency spectrum of the kick. All right. So you notice the fundamental frequencies for the kick is down here, which is between 50 to 1 to 200 hertz. That's the main bottom end of the kick, right? The top end and the click what you hear on the smaller speakers now is up, up here, so which is about 5K. But um, so when you EQ, you know there are two things you need to keep in mind, and the first one is taking out the frequencies that you don't want, and then adding frequencies that you want to highlight. So those are the two things you want to keep in mind when you're EQing anything. So on the kick, I realize when I play it, I realize there's no nothing down after about 30, 50 or so kilohertz. Nothing is there on the sounds that I use on this particular beat. So I just take it out. It's not there anyway, so I won't miss it if it's gone. I wanted to highlight some of the top ends, so that's why I add a little in the 5K range, about yeah, 4 dB or so, to highlight that top end part and make it stand out into the entire mix. And in this middle section here, there's nothing there, so I just take it out. Um, and you'll do the same thing for the higher. Let me enable EQ. On the higher, the majority of this sound is up here. It's a high frequency sound. So if you can see the difference, you can hear the difference between the two. So what I did, I just remove everything from the bottom end to leave space for the kick. And then I highlighted the, the top end part to brighten it up a little bit. Um, same thing with the So when you're going through the EQ, you basically EQ, take out what you don't want, highlight what you want to ensure that everything fits into the context, fits together in the entire mix. So after you balance out the track, you add the compression and your EQ, basically your mix is supposed to start come together to do the final part of the song. Um, which is adding effects and stuff like that. But we're going to focus on that in the next video. What I want to do is just play a little section on the beat to hear its own after EQ. Alright, so basically after EQ, everything's supposed to fit together in terms of the balance, 
you compress it to get the sounds or you want to bring every, all of the mix together and you EQ it now to get to fine tune the, the, the sound and to fit it in this frequency spectrum so everything fit together nicely and not competing with each other. And thank you again for watching. Until next time, one love.